This is St Giles, the Cathedral of Edinburgh. Or is it? Is it a cathedral? Lovely crown spire at the top there. I'm going to try and zoom in. There we go, look at that. Now that's 15th century and the church was founded in the 12th century. However, with rebuilding and additions, most of the bits below the crown spire are actually 19th century. So why is it not a cathedral? It's Presbyterian. There's no hierarchy in the Presbyterian church. There are no bishops. And the seat of a bishop, cathedral, comes from the Greek word cathedra, which means the seat of a bishop. If there's no bishops, well, how can it be called a cathedral? It's actually the High Kirk, the High Kirk of Edinburgh, if you want to be pedantic. And, of course, this Presbyterian revolution, this reformation was started by a man called John Knox. I'm going to look for his grave now down here. A little conflict between King Charles I a little later on. Charles I believed he was ruling by divine right and was appointed by God. And unfortunately, the Presbyterians didn't believe that. He tried to turn this into a cathedral. But it is, in fact, a high kirk. There's Charles II on horseback. And that was put up back in 1685. The death of Charles II was that year. This is the oldest lead statue in Scotland. Recently had a £60,000 refurbishment. And this is Parliament Square. But these buildings date from around 1800 long after Parliament was dissolved in 1707 to move to London. So back in the old days, the facade looked very different. But we're looking for John Knox, father of the Scottish Reformation. Lots of memorials to him around the world, but his burial place is Parking Bay 23. Yep, they tarmacked over this around about 1910. And that's his grave, John Knox. Oh, and someone's going to park over 24. <laughs> Thank you for not parking over John Knox.